Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have officially split from the so-called Fab Four with Kate, the Duchess of Cambridge and Prince William as the Duke and Duchess of Sussex will create a new household, Kensington Palace has announced. In a major seal of approval, the Queen has given permission for Meghan and Harry to base their new household office at Buckingham Palace while William and Kate will remain at Kensington Palace. Sarah Latham who previously served on Hillary Clinton's 2016 presidential campaign team, will lead communications for Meghan and Harry, while Christian Jones is now communications secretary to William and Kate. Jason Knopf has also been announced as senior advisor to the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. Meghan and Harry will also appoint new staff, who will report to the Queen's communications secretary Donald McCabe. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex will remain at Kensington Palace where Prince Harry currently has his own private office with Meghan, until their team is in place, Buckingham Palace confirmed. The announcement comes as Meghan and Harry prepare to move to Frogmore Cottage on the grounds of Windsor Castle ahead of the arrival of their first child. Meghan, who is around eight months pregnant, is expected to give birth later this month. Their move to Frogmore Cottage sparked speculation of an alleged rift between Kate and Meghan, Although it is understood the Duke and Duchess of Sussex wanted to move away from the bustle of London to raise their family. In a statement, a Buckingham Palace spokesperson said, The Queen has agreed to the creation of a new household for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, following their marriage in May last year. The household, which will be created with the support of the Queen and the Prince of Wales, will be established in the spring. Meghan and Harry showed signs of forging their own paths within the royal family following the announcement of their engagement in 2017. Both Meghan and Harry have been honored with roles in the Commonwealth, the Queen's beloved global network of countries. Prince Harry was given their role as Commonwealth Youth Ambassador last year and the pair attended a series of Commonwealth-related events before their wedding in May. Royal expert Richard Fitzwilliams previously told Express.co.uk, Meghan is indeed planning to take her activism around the Commonwealth with Harry as part of the Royal Foundation after the wedding. Meghan and Harry's first major international tour was to Commonwealth nations Australia, New Zealand, Fiji and Tonga last year. And earlier this month Meghan was made Vice President of the Queen's Commonwealth Trust, where Prince Harry is President and the Queen is Patron. Meghan Markle has officially begun maternity leave, with only private meetings scheduled, a Kensington Palace spokeswoman confirmed earlier to Express.co.uk. Meghan attended her last engagement at the Commonwealth Day service at Westminster Abbey on Monday with Prince Harry, William, and Kate. Meghan and Kate were seen greeting each other with a kiss on the cheek, appearing to put to bed any speculation of an alleged drift. Meghan had earlier that day visit Canada House with her husband Prince Harry where the pair met with young Canadians living in London and around the UK.